Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brandon Bias from CheesyChicken.com here with another extremely amazing and exciting Tutorial Tuesday. I know I say that like every single week that I put up a Tutorial Tuesday, but eh, what the heck, every tutorial I put out is kind of amazing in its own way, so <laughs> I don't know, let's not concede or anything, right? Alright, so anyway, <laughs> uh, today we're going over an effect that I learned how to do pretty recently, and I really like it for one reason or another, but the effect is actually what you're seeing on my desktop right now, and that's how to take an ordinary picture and make it look like it's a drawing. And just from looking at my desktop background, you can see that it's actually pretty convincing in one way or another, and I don't know, it's, it keeps a lot of detail, and it's just, I don't know, it's really well done, I just love how it looks. So let's just give you a quick example of how this looks on an actual, like, full-on picture. So, here we go, we've got just this ordinary picture of an old, rusty, car, ancientness thing, I don't know. <laughs> and in itself, it's not really that interesting, but let's see how it looks like when it's a drawing. Bam! So let's go ahead and get a closer look at this, and let's do this in a full screen mode so you can see what's going on. And if you ask me, that's really convincing in terms of, like, making it look like it's a drawing. I mean, look at that. It keeps a lot of detail, and, I don't know, just anywhere you go, it could be, like, a really nice-looking drawing in one way or another. I mean, it's just really nice-looking and very convincing. And you want to know what the best part about this effect is? It's the fact that it's so simple that you can literally push one button and have it done. And I'm not kidding. Watch this. So let's delete all these. Let's open up the action that I created for this, and we'll push play. And then we'll just sit back, chillax, and just kind of let the computer do its work. It's going to take a little bit of time because, well, I'm recording in 1080p, and I don't know, I guess it's just a large picture in general, so it's just going to take a little bit. But heck, one click of a button, and a few seconds later, and you've got an awesome picture. I mean, look at that. That's freaking sweet. And I only had to push one button. But of course, you have to make the action first. <laughs> Alright, so, we're two minutes into this, let's just get into the actual effect. So, let's go ahead and just delete all of these layers, and let's delete this action, because I'll show you how to create that too. Alright, so, once you've got your picture open that you want to make into a drawing, go ahead and open up this little actions panel over here, and if you don't have that, it's right below your history and all that, but um, you can go to window actions right there if you don't have that at all. And so all you're going to do is go down here and click this little create a new actions icon and give that a click. And then over here in the new actions dialog, you can go ahead and name this, uh, I don't know, let's just do pencil drawing. And then you can put this in your default set or your own custom set, it doesn't really matter. And then if you want to set that to a specific shortcut, you can, again, not completely necessary. And then we'll go ahead and hit record. And then once we're uh, set and we're recording, all you're going to do to start off is duplicate your background layer by hitting Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac. Then we'll double click the where it says Layer 1 and rename this to B slash W for black and white. And then we'll desaturate that by hitting Control Shift U or Command Shift U if you're on a Mac. And if you don't like shortcuts, um, there's an image adjustments uh, desaturate somewhere uh, right down here. And so you can use that to desaturate it as well. And then we'll duplicate that black and white layer, again with Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac. And we'll rename this to, let's just rename it to Sketch. And then we'll invert that by hitting Control I or Command I if you're on a Mac. And then change the blend mode to Color Dodge. And let's just get rid of that little menu for a second. And for most of you, you're either going to see a whole lot of white or just a whole lot of white with a couple specks here and there. And that's completely fine, don't really worry about it. So we're going to go to Layer, Smart Objects, and we'll convert it to a Smart Object right there. And then after that, we'll go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and then you're going to set the, uh, the angle on that to 34 degrees and a distance to 387 pixels, and we'll hit OK. And then after that's done thinking, just go back to that black and white layer that we made earlier and duplicate that, and then we'll rename this to Detail. And then once that's renamed, go ahead and click and drag it up above the sketch layer. And then we'll go to Filter, Stylize, Glowing Edges. And then the settings, uh, we're <laughs> and then the settings we're going to use for that uh, have an edge width of one, an edge brightness of 16, and a smoothness of 15. So with those settings, go ahead and hit OK. 
And so that'll apply that glowing edges filter for you, but we want to invert this by hitting Control i or Command-I again if you're on a Mac. And then we'll set the blend mode of this to multiply, if I could find it, there we go. And then go ahead and open up your adjustments panel. If you don't have that, that's up at Window Adjustments right there. Uh, you can pretty much find anything you need in Window if you didn't know that already. All right, so let's go ahead and add a Levels Adjustment layer. And on that, we'll just change the black inputs to 12, and then we'll change the midpoint inputs to 0.8, right there. And then we'll go back and open up our actions panel right here, and just push the little stop icon. And you know what? That's all there is to it. You are done. <laughs> and so you're probably wondering, like, exactly why I did all the things I did. So I'll just do a quick run through of all this. All right. So first of all, the black and white layer obviously just makes it black and white because, well, pencil drawings are usually in black and white unless you're using color pencils, but that's not the effect we're going for, so we're not going to worry about that. And then after that, we added this sketch layer to just basically over-brighten uh, pretty much everything except for, you know, the few shades of gray here and there to make it look like it's just, um, you know, just different pencil drawing shades on a white piece of paper, right? And we also made this into a smart object, if you remember, and that's so you can go back to this motion blur that you see right here, and you can give that a double click. And if you so choose, you can change up the angle of that motion blur just to make it look like it's being drawn at a different angle if you so choose. And you can also change the distance just to bring back more stuff going on. I don't know, so that part's completely up to you. It's just an option that you can do to, um, you know, make it look more like something you, that you want to do. And then, of course, the detail layer is to bring back all the finer details that we are missing out on from that, uh, that sketch layer. And so just a little before, after, it brings back a lot of the edges and all that that we kind of lose when we get that sketch. And then, of course, the levels adjustment layer is to make everything just a little bit darker, just make it uh, have a little bit more of that realism to it. And so all of that together, you've got your drawing effect already. And if you ever want to actually use the action, all you have to do is go to your actions and then you select pencil drawing then select the layer that you want to use and then you push play like I showed you earlier and so like I said that's all there is to this effect it's really simple to do but it turns out great in the end and you know what let's go ahead and try this on a different picture so let's do the one that I did earlier today so this is me just kinda of standing there and so let's try it on this so push play sit back relax And then once it's done, you have an automatic, awesome drawing. So, <laughs> having said all this, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really like this particular effect because I just think it looks awesome and it's really convincing. And, I don't know, it's really good for like self-portraits and, I don't know, just whatever the heck you want to come up with. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and comment if you have that little bit of time, which I'm sure most of you do because you're kind of sitting there watching YouTube anyway. <laughs> and if you haven't already, go like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. We always like uh, having more company and, you know, ha uh, having people follow, you know, whatever we're doing. And so I've got stuff to do today because, well, frankly, today is Halloween, the day that I'm recording this. And, you know, we got some parties to hit up and maybe some candy to eat and, you know, all that good stuff. So... I will go ahead and see you guys next Tuesday. <laughs>